Smart Hall. Um, I'll be your guide for this tour, which will take approximately 15 minutes. Um, we need to keep to a schedule, so please use the maps and the pens that we've provided to jot down any questions you may have, and please hold them until the end. Um, in this tour, you're going to see how you can enjoy a smarter, connected life when your home is a part of the Internet of Everything. Um, you're going to see a wide range of demonstrations based on Qualcomm solutions and technologies, um, including our Qualcomm connectivity chipset and the all joint software framework that allows all these devices to talk directly to each other. Um, and now I'm going to introduce you to Ken, who's going to begin our demo by showing you the August smart lock that we have on our front door. Scott, and welcome everyone. David, we're sort of first in area here uh, around the August Smart Lock. August Smart Lock is mounted to a virtual doorman. Let's do things with a lock you think you should be able to do. Lock and unlock and queue for an application on your smartphone. Also, nice that things like access controls, so you have a clean tree, you want to grant access between 2 and 4 in the afternoon, so you can do that. But we also worked with them to add a couple of all joint service frameworks to their products and bring it together here to show the demonstration to you here today. They added two of our all joint service frameworks. They added notifications, they added events. Notification services allow, allows them to send a text message out to the home. Multiple devices in the home can display that. They also add events, which allows them to send events out to the home. Other devices here in home can react to those events and do something interesting for the consumer. Event for a door lock would be something like I locked or I unlocked. So a few other devices to take part in our first scenario here. One is the LG Smart TV back here in the living room. Display notifications. It's button up right in the corner. It does it kind of quickly if you want to catch it there. Get kind of ready for it. Also, they all play speakers next to the television as well. And the lighting in the living room corner and also over the kitchen counter, lighting's from LightBack. It's Wi-Fi enabled multicolor LED lighting. So we'll start the first scenario here. It's welcome home, coming home. So I'll use the August application here to unlock the door, establish a secure relationship with the door, instructs it to unlock. It takes a moment to get there once we're done. There we go. Welcome home, Paul. Notifications up on the television screen there. So that's kind of a cool demo. Uh, we've been talking about that for a long time, how to have the home interact with us. Uh, but what's really cool about this demo here is that we can do this by working independently with one of these manufacturers to integrate the service into their devices. So they can think about what it means uh, to add the service to the device. So you're going to build a really cool, awesome door lock, build a really cool, awesome door lock, and figure out what it means to add events to a really cool, awesome door lock. What does it mean to add an notification to it? But they don't need to be concerned about, I want to control lighting. Lighting doesn't need to be concerned about when we react to the door unlocking. So uh, we're able to do that, work with them, bring these devices together here where we can create an experience where the, uh, the final experience is greater than the, end, the sum of the individual experience we would have if, it, uh, if these devices were interacting with us independently. One more demonstration also I'll run for you back here. We'll step past you here uh, to our smart wall plates that has a tablet. Running all join on, all join on are open source applications make available to developers and OEMs to learn about services and create their own experience on top of it. In this case, it's using all join discovery has discovered a higher air conditioner. I want to interact with the higher air conditioner here. This is the higher air conditioner that enables our wireless connectivity solutions. They've added three of the service frameworks. They added two I already talked about, notifications and events. They also added a third one, control panel. Control panel allows an application like all join on to ask the air conditioner, what kind of controls do you have available? How should it be laid out and labeled for the consumer all without doing anything about air conditioners beforehand? Indeed, even after the fact, still does notice an air conditioner is a device with a collection of controls. In this case, it's told me I can turn it on. So I'll turn the air conditioner on. It's turned on, and now that I've turned it on, it's enabled control so I can uh, set the temperature. So it'll turn the temperature up. So now going to heating, you'll notice the this, uh, LG Smart TV there is displaying the text notification that we're heating here at home. Also, call your attention to the lighting back in the living room. So now I invent that I'm heating now. We set the lighting in the living room to respond to that event by going to a red tent so the consumer feels a little bit warmer while the air conditioner is moving still. Now, whenever it's done, it's done in other events that I'm done, the lighting's returned back to a normal level. One more demonstration here as well. Back over here on the kitchen island, we have a wine cooler with a great wine collection in it. Uh, so we purchased the largest wine cooler monitor to help us protect it. So, uh, it's made by card access engineering. They do things like monitor the light vibration, temperature, help us protect that wine collection. We also work with them to add this couple of services, add notifications and events to it as well. You open up the door there, we'll start to see how they made use of it. So the doors open, you'll notice there's a uh, message displayed on the TV as well as displays back in the kitchen, such as the kitchen chef there. Uh, the doors open, so maybe a, a guest is trying to sneak a good bottle of wine out during the party, go look into that. But also, the door's been left open. When the door's left open, so that event, that the uh, door's been left open, we set the lighting in the living room to respond to that event by blinking red, just draws my attention back to the kitchen, knowing I need to go do something. 
So you can imagine like that, the top use case was not, oh, I need to watch where the light goes more left open and look around when I receive that. They were just able to build really cool lighting and a great service framework. We're able to bring that together here and create a really cool experience to get back here in the home. So uh, just as I've been uh, receiving all those notifications here in the home, on the TV, I've also been seeing the same notification on my Qualcomm Talk smartwatch as well. We also enable smartwatch with the control panel service, so I can discover and control devices at home just like I was able to with the tablet. So I control the air conditioner or lighting there in the kitchen to be able to set the temperature there as well. One last demonstration I'll run for you here as well is time. So you notice there's numerous devices here in the home displaying time. You kitchen chef, the kitchen wall clock, as well as the clock back in the living room. So we need to go, uh, fix that. So I can come back over here to all join on. And I'm going to use all join on to discover all the devices here in the home that display a common interface called set time. It's a very task specific interface that's common across all the devices. And we're going to uh, complete that task at the time. So it's a little different than the other ones that we've uh, services we talked about loosely coupled where we send something to the network and something may or may not interesting may or may, may not happen. Or control panel where it's up to the consumer to interpret the context. It's very task specific. A little background, all join is open source. We contributed that to the All Scene Alliance, uh, joined the alliance. There's also many consumer electronic companies joining the alliance, and they'll be releasing products with that technology. They'll also be contributing back to the alliance in the form of uh, additional APIs and such, perhaps even additional task specific APIs, uh, maybe like air conditioners and such like that, how do you interact with them. As those come out, we'll have even greater demos to be able to run here, as well as uh, really cool, awesome experiences in our own home. So uh, that wraps up our demos here in the living room and kitchen. Um, Turn you back over.